really you should recalibrate your laser but if you find that it's off a little this is a technique that you can use if you don't have time to do that and you're out in the field you can use this technique to, to rotate it and uh, it, it'll get it done okay the way, reason we're doing this is collimation is everything um, it really is easy to do one two three primary mirror um, is second your secondary mirror is first and centering it and then centering it in the dot in the back and then centering it in the eyepiece and a lot of us have this little laser collimator and uh, I'm finding out mine is inaccurate uh, when you set it in a jig and spin it the the laser goes around it doesn't stay in one spot so that's going to change the technique um, we can do it and find out that we're wrong when we're done and I'll show you there's two things online I saw that I just want to repeat because they're so handy one of them is how to block off the secondary mirror so all you see is its own reflection back at you instead of uh, seeing the primary mirror it makes it a little more simple okay the best kind of jigs there are are something that you can make out of cardboard and just throw it away when you're done or uh, make a really good one after you figure out your dimensions but this is just a, a quick way of doing it just cut yourself a square with that on the side put a little piece of tape on here on an angle down so that this will stay on a 45 or 90 excuse me and like like this just that quick now it don't flop back and forth and then to install it this will block the reflection just slide that in and make sure you can't see it when you look through your eyepiece either way now it can't reflect the image on the back this will give you a really good contrast when I saw this uh, this was just the neatest thing and of course piece of tape on a piece of paper throw it in here across from it will give you your other piece of contrast Now you don't see the reflection of the mirror in the back, so you can clearly see the secondary mirror here up in the front. Um, the center screw will, will, when you turn the center screw, it will send it backwards towards the primary mirror or forward to get that white donut around the brown circle there perfectly aligned. And just do that through your collimation cap. And when you're satisfied with the tilt and uh, you've got a nice round circle equal all the way around you're up and running the first thing you can do is make yourself a little jig I just made it out of some uh, field points um, to set your uh, you might have to take the uh, lettering off but um, go ahead and and have it set there on something that you can spin and, and and watch it on the wall and see if it stays in one spot you can put these little legs on here um, to help it not slide around and I'll show you how this one's off. There, I don't know if I can get that so you can actually see it, but that's how much it moves. Okay, that's the donut in the center on the primary mirror. The laser is off. I just support it right here with my fingers and you know you just lightly turn it around and you can see if you can get if yours is off center and you can get it to go right around the donut perfectly then you know you're you're in the center without being in the center once you once you make a circle around the whole donut perfectly you know you got it the noise will drive you nuts but it's worth it now this is the beauty of the next step it doesn't matter if it's off center or not um, we're gonna, uh, I've seen this done, you diffuse the light with a, a bar lamp. And I'm just gonna use a two power, 2x. Throw it in your bar low. Don't throw it, just put it in your bar low. And now the light is diffused and it's on the dot, but it's just making, uh, it, it makes the little donut glow. And it has a great reflection. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it to you. Let 
but it's glowing now instead of having a dot that we have to worry about hitting up there in the center. So the reflection is comes up in the center piece and it's awesome. You can really see it good. I hope I can show it in here. Well, first you come back here, of course, loosen up your, your locking nuts and turn this so that it's facing you. And the nice thing is it can be off kilter because all it's doing is making a reflection on there, on the primary mirror. And now when you start adjusting it back here, you'll see, you won't see anything because I'm going to have to turn the lights down. Now when you diffuse it, um, you have a reflection of the donut or the little mark on your back mirror. And, and then as you bring it in, as you can see, it, it's the reflection and not that beam. So you know when you're right on. And by turning those, you can move it around and get that right in the center of your target. And lock it down, right there it is. Plain as day. And that's the beauty of it. You don't have that little beam coming back trying to see, see that put in the... And if it's off center... Um, it's going to be off center up here a little bit and that's not because that you can see that reflection is right in the middle and That's it. That is the beauty of this uh, uh, Diffusing it if you've got a Barlow use it. It's great. Try it. I Know there's probably collimators out there that are better than this um, But I own this so now I'm trying to live with it If you've got one of these make yourself a jig try it out and see if it is centered um, if it's not then you've been setting it up wrong all along and uh, that will help putting in a jig finding out that when you do put it in here and turn it and if it goes around the donut off to the side then just center your uh, secondary mirror so it goes right around the donut and that will be centered because it can't go right or left up here it's just the beam coming out on a little bit of an angle um, that will take care of it that second thing with the defused uh, you Put your eyeball, put your little reflector eyepiece in there and you'll be amazed. It's right dead on. It's really nice um, way to go and you can do that in the dark also. All right, clear skies.